हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू रोजत मैम के ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टूडे आई विल कंटिन्यू विद एचल विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन अवर लास्ट सेशन ऑलवेज आई गेट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर साइड बट टूडे आई हैव क्वेश्चन फॉर यू हैव ए लुक एट दिस इमेज एंड नाउ सी दिस वन विच इमेज डिड यू फील वॉज बेटर आई एम श्योर यू वुड हैव लाइक द सेकेंड इमेज एंड यू ऑल हैव द एंसर as to why the second image got more preference let us also take an example of our routine practice whenever we write a paragraph and give title or heading to it we have the habit of making that heading bold using bigger font size using different color in order to make it clearly visible and to grab readers attention sometime you need to display some text differently from the normal text tags are used to format the appearance of the text on your web page so let's go and make our boring html page look eye appealing and attractive by going through chapter number 1 part 2 that is basic formatting tag in html time to put your creativity at test we are familiar with four primary tag opening html closing html opening head closing head opening title and closing title and we will write this title tag inside the head tag opening body and closing body today we will get familiar with additional basic formatting tag which can be used in body section of the html code first we will start with html heading child If you will see this image, you will read this first, and then you will read this, then this one, and you will read this last. That is the impact of using any heading in your document. All the HTML document generally begin with heading. Heading can be created in total six different size, from H1 to H6. H1 is the largest heading size. and h6 is the smallest heading size most browser display the content of h1 h2 and h3 element larger than the default size of the text in the document and the default size of the text is similar to whatever content you will write in h4 element here we will do this exercise practically for that you need to open notepad First, write all four primary tag. And then I am writing body tag. Given, I will write now title tag inside the head tag. Any contain here? I will close the title tag even. Here I will do the exercise of heading with H one tag. Heading exercise. Here I will copy paste this line to show the demo of all six different size. Slowly and gradually, I will modify the code. Here, I will modify the code H two opening tag. Then this one. Yes. Now I will modify contain. Like this, I am doing something. Fine. Now I will modify closing tag. I will say the file. You can give any name, but don't forget to write dot html. Double click on this file to open it in any browser. Yes, you can see the output. Now we will move to next slide. Now next topic is paragraph tag. 
Before reading this slide, we will get practical exposure of Wagram. For that, I will open Notepad. And I will write all four primary tags here. And head and body tag goes inside HTML tag. And title will go inside that head tag. Some content I will write here. In body tag, I will write some contain. I have some contain in text file. I will copy paste it. Here, I have four paragraph with me. I will save the file. Don't forget to write .html. Yes, here I will open it in any browser. Here you can see it is not displayed as we expected. Here we are not getting in a paragraph format. So what we need to do now? We need to add opening p tag and closing p tag here in, for each and every paragraph like this. And last paragraph here. Yes. Again, I will save it and I will refresh the page. Yes. Now you can see in a paragraph format. Yes. And when you want to see the contain into paragraph format, you have to write your text within opening p tag and closing p tag when the and html code is displayed into a browser the text will automatically take up the full width of the screen as you can see here here your window size is maximized so it is taking full width suppose here i resize the window so it will do text wrapping means it will bring the text onto a new line fine see here like that hmm. like this why we do such thing? Search by space management allow developer to indent your code or to add extra space to maintain readability of the code. Now next slide is line break. BR tag is used for giving line break. BR is an abbreviated form of break. Remember BR tag is an empty tag. Empty tag means it does not have opening tag and closing tag. Here we will see it. Here I am writing BR tag. So here it will push the contain onto a new line. Let's refresh the page. Yeah. Now you can see the coming text, it will push into a new line. In case if you want to add multiple line, you have to put multiple BR tag like this. Even you can write like this, br forward slash, both are the same thing. Fine. Now, we will read the slide. Br just put the coming text into a new line. In case you need multiple lines, just simply put multiple br tag. Br tag in paragraph force compulsory break into a contain and distribute text wrapping that we did. In paragraph tag, same thing it happen in br tag also. Next slide is pre-formatted tags. I will show you practically how it work. Here, I am doing some pattern like this with multiple line. You are with, uh, and I am giving spaces even like this. Here, I will save the file. And here I will refresh it. But 
but here I'm getting in same line. I'm not getting that pattern. I had to add pre-tag. Opening pre-tag, closing pre-tag. Yes. Now you can see multiple white spaces, multiple lines without changing it to the browser. It will not change it. Yes. Here, we have to embed opening pre-tag and closing pre-tag. Any text between the opening pre-tag and closing pre-tag will preserve the formatting of the given content. Whatever content you are writing in node page, the same output you will get in a browser. Now, next text formatting tag. One by one, we will see all the basic text formatting tag. We will start with bold. Here I want to make Tom and Jerry text as a bold. So I have to add B tag here, opening B tag. And then here I will close it. Save the file. And see the output here. Yes, you can see here in a bold letter. Now next is underline. Suppose I want to make this text cat and mouse as underline. I have to add U tag here. And I will close it U tag. Don't forget to close it, otherwise whole document will get that effect. Refresh the page. Yes, you can see underline here. Next is italic. That will display the text as a slanted text, right? Here I will show the italic tag. Here is go like that. Closing I tag. Save. Yes, this way. Now, we will see two more tags that is strike true and typewriter font. Now, strike true. When I want to display a thin line through the text or I want to show as a cancel word, then I have to go for strike true text. Here, I have to add word or tag like this S and I have to close it here. You can see a effect of strike through that is cancel word or you can see a thin line now typewriter font earlier people were using typewriter nowadays we are using computer here we are getting different font like arial times new roman many more suppose i want typewriter font then i have to go for tt tag typewriter font is also known as monospace some text i am writing here Yes, you can see this as a monospace font or typewriter font. Yes, now we will see next slide. Other text formatting tag. First, we will go with the small tag. If I want to display any contain one size smaller than the rest of the text surrounding it, then I have to write small tag here. And I will close it here. And once font size bigger than the rest of the text surrounding it, then I have to go for big tag. Like this I have to do. Closing big tag. Save the file and see the output here. Yes, you can see. Here, suppose uh, your normal font size is uh, 15, right? Point. Then small tag will display the text of 14 point. And big tag will display the text of uh, 16 point like that. Now we will see next one that is superscript. Yes. When you want to display uh, like uh, 2 raised to 5. Here you will write 5 in superscript. I will show you 2. Then super SUP five SUP close. Here you will see the effect of two raised to five like this. Even you can write any date like uh, 
23rd October. This RD should be upside. It should be raised to. So I had to write in superscript. Now see the output. Yes, you can see. Now next tag is subscript. Here I put beer tag. Now to write chemical formula of water that is H2O. Here uh, we will write H and O as a normal text. Uh, we will write two in a subscript. Like this. So you can see here. Fine. Now next one. Acronym. That is an interesting type. Here, when you want to spell out another word, you have to go for acronym. Here I will show you practically. Here I have to write one more attribute. Attribute I will cover in next video session. Just you write this tag central of some text I am writing here. Whatever contain I want to display on browser, that text I am writing here and I am closing it. I will save the file and we will see the output. Yes, just mouse over it, you will get some hint like this. Hmm. Next tag, define. When you want to define a special term, you have to go for the, uh, this define tag. It is also known as definition tag. I am writing some text here. I will close it. We rarely use this tag. It will just show the text in an italic way that we can do using italic tag even. Fine. Now next tag is code. Last basic formatting tag for this session is code. When you want to display some text as a back code, we will write in a Q tag opening, some text I am writing. Here I am closing it. Here I am not adding any double quotation marks, but when you will see it in browser, you can see double quotation mark. That is the usage of code. Remaining tag and some more concept, I will cover it in next video section. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned in for next video.